down. I'll give you that. It's rather hard to track down yourself. So who are you and what do you want? I was asked to find you as soon as possible. If you ask me, this problem sounds urgent. You'd best head on over to the bannered mayor at White Run. Speak to Lurius Lior. He mentioned something about trouble with a dragon. And the promise of a generous reward. Sounds tempting. If I were you, I'd best not keep him waiting. Interesting. Dragon hunt. Now how to speak with this Lurius in the bannered mayor. So I'll meet you right there. There he is. Ah, you made it. I was beginning to think you were never going to show up. I received your message. Sounds like you're having trouble with a dragon. The problem is straightforward enough, I suppose. A dragon has been attacking settlements throughout the holds. Contingents of guards have been sent after it, but the damn thing has so far managed to evade all our efforts. Oh, but where are my manners? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lurius Leor with the East Empire Company. Why does the East Empire Company care about dragon attacks? How shall I put it? Dragon attacks are very bad for trade. They're also very bad for settlements throughout the holds. Hence, a commonality. We've been cooperating with the Jarls to pool our resources together towards finding a solution to this issue. I'm sure the collective bounty of 10,000 gold on this dragon should stir enough sword wavers into action should my plan fail. What kind of plan did you have in mind? I know of some mercenaries with exceptional talents. Why hire mercenaries? I could take on the dragon by myself. Glad you asked. This dragon has so far proven very difficult to approach. We'll need a team that can cover a lot of ground quickly to co And aside from giants, I'm not sure what else could stand up against a dragon. But that's where you'll come in, Dragonborn. I've assembled a team of the finest mercenaries I know. Oh, so you know about the... tracking the dragon from its last known sighting in Falkreath. There's Aether, a Redguard warrior from Hammerfell. He used to be Alakir until he took up mercenary work. Danelint, a Bosma rancher, the most skilled sharpshooter I know. She was recently incarcerated in solitude for petty theft. Luckily, the Empire was willing to look the other way this time, if it meant putting a stop to this dragon. Shargal, an orc berserker from Nazulbo, with the strength of at least three of his kind. We'll definitely need him along for the hunt. And Elmira, a mage with some unhealthy fixations, but highly skilled in the arts of the arcane, nevertheless. Where can I find them? I'll mark the rendezvous point on your map. When you get there, speak to Aether. By now, he should know where that dragon's been roosting. If we're lucky, we might be able to get the jump on that dragon and put an end to the trouble it's been causing, once and for all. Godspeed, Dragonborn. I'll be waiting here for your return. Meet up with the mercenaries on the road to Falkreath. If you say so. Now let's see where this takes us. Wow, it's really dark. Like, really, really dark. But the climates of Tamriel made it really beautiful. Let's keep going this direction. So, you're the one Lorius asked us to wait for. You're this dragonborn people have been talking about. I am? Well, if Lorius trusts you, then I guess we have no choice. I'm Aether, and this is our little ragtag group assembled by the Empire's coin. I wish we could have met under more favorable circumstances, but I'm afraid we're a little short on time. Good that you arrived when you did. We've been following recent sightings of the dragon in Falkreath Hold. It hasn't attacked Falkreath directly, but its presence is straining trade. Supply shipments through the region have ground to a halt. Seems like they've heard this dragon has a bit of a penchant for them. Why? Can't say for sure. 
It would make more sense for the beast to hit major population centers. But who knows what their true intentions are. Lorius told me you may know where it's roosting. The last witness I spoke to said the dragon had been returning oh, to the same spot golly. in the mountains southeast of Falkreath over the past few days. Stop pushing him, asshole. Ancient's ascent is likely where it's roosting now. But who knows for how long. I suggest we head there immediately. We may be able to catch it by surprise. We can't do this on our own. That's why Lurius asked for your help. With you on our side, we might just have a chance of pulling this off. Now come on, we need to move quickly. So, you're the one Lurius asked us to wait for. You're this dragonborn people have been talking about. What the fuck is wrong with you? Bone chill passage it is then. I think I've been here before trying to kill another dragon. So let's go through. Oh, this looks certainly cold. I almost didn't see you. Sorry, but you gotta go. It's a bandit. Oh, give me that. And you can keep that. It's okay, after all. I have the perk, so it'll ignore me. Let's go outside. So where are they? Don't tell me they're already up there. Oh, they are. Why is it a frost troll you're fighting right now? Isn't there supposed to be a dragon? Kenda, Kenda, Balan, Vukai. Finally, warriors worthy of combat walk before. Why did you run away? Damn it. I can't believe the beast just slipped through our fingers. This isn't going to go down well with Lorius. You can count on that. It seemed to know we were coming. You're right. It was probably watching our movements this whole time. It was foolish to think we could just corner it like a wild beast. Seems like the dragon wants us to pursue it to Wormstooth. I'm beginning to see why Lurius is involved in this dragon hunt. I'm sure he can explain it better than I can. But for now, we should return to the Bannered Mare and let him know what transpired. All right then. Hmm? Tell me about yourself. I'm the kind of orc that likes to kill those who ask too many questions. Whatever you want, douche. Need something? I grew up in Valenwood, where I learned the art of the hunt. My skill with the bow was unsurpassed among my peers. I joined the resistance against the Thalmor, but fled to Skyrim when the conflict became too intense. There are less riskier ways to earn a living, but it seems war follows you wherever you go. Now I fight whenever I need to fight, and kill whenever I need to kill. Acts of valor in a world such as ours are futile and meaningless. Okay then. So where is the other guy? What is it? Not much to tell, really. I'm a red guard from Hammerfell. Joined the Alakir at an early age, but left it all behind to live a life on the road. I was in the service of the Fighters Guild in Cyrodiil for a time, before crossing the border into Skyrim in search of more lucrative work. The Silverblood family in Markarth are a frequent client of mine. Seems like they have a few bones to pick with the Forsworn of the Reach. Okay then. So I guess I need to go back to um what's his face? <laughs> um yeah, it doesn't say it. Too many map markers. You're back. I was beginning to think you may never return. So, how did it go? Did you slay the dragon? No, it managed to get away. What do you mean? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be out there pursuing it? It's headed to a place called Wormstooth. Wormstooth? Then it seems that once again that dragon has slipped out of our grasp. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. What do you mean? There's a reason I'm involved in this little dragon hunt of ours. I manage the Imperial Mining Settlement at Wormstooth. That dragon first showed up a fortnight ago. It began killing miners and burning trade caravans on the road. 
but never attacked us directly. I tried evacuating people back to the mainland in case it changed its mind, but those miners are a stubborn lot. Foolish, if you ask me. So I hired a group of mercenaries to come to Wormstooth and put that dragon to the sword. Sadly, they were never heard of again. So what happened next? Things were quiet for a while. I assumed the dragon either went back to sleep or had left the island for good. Either way would be fine with me. But then I heard news that the very same dragon was spotted over Skyrim, putting a strain on trade routes, burning caravans and settlements. I came to Skyrim at the behest of the East Empire Company. They probably saw this as my responsibility to deal with. I thought I could correct past mistakes by ending things here, but that dragon has proved far more slippery than I had imagined. It seems we have no choice but to pursue it back to where things first started. Back to Wormstooth. Sounds like the dragon wants us to follow it to the island. I'll have a ship ready at the docks in Solitude. Meet me there and we'll set sail for Wormstooth. I shouldn't need to remind you that we won't know what to expect when we arrive. You should stock up on whatever supplies you need before we depart. And don't forget, that 10,000 gold bounty is still up for grabs should we actually manage to pull this off. Mm-hmm, because... 10,000 gold? It's much more for me. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> because 300,000 isn't enough for me, right? Well, I think I'm gonna end it off here. Who's that? Who the f oh, that's the same guy. Okay. I think I'm gonna end it off here. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more videos. Okay. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.